Hey guys, thanks for clicking this video. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, remember to click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, and if you really want to support me, then consider being a Luxe channel supporter for $4.99 a month. You'll get loyalty badges next to your name, you'll get custom emojis, you'll get rough cuts and bloopers, you'll get discounted merchandise, connect with you on social media, and also you get your name mentioned at the start of each video, like this. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Now, I've made two videos on the TomTom Tom Go Expert. The first one was my honest review uh, after a week or so of using it. The second one was two of my favourite features. And this one is all about some additional features. And also, I answer some of your questions from the previous videos. Hope you enjoy. So we're going to start this video with the feature of the TomTom Tom World Maps. Now with the TomTom Tom World Maps you can explore the world in confidence with 34.7 million kilometres worth of information and roads. All of the local speed limits are included so you can relax knowing that you are not going to be breaking the speed limit and also there are over 1 million POIs, that's points of interest. It's thanks to the TomTom Tom World Map that you get advanced lane guidance which means you never have to miss a junction or turning again and also with a massive community of 21 million users you have map share options as well because the maps are validated this means that you get very accurate estimated arrival times which in my job my industry is very important being able to tell the client what time i'm going to be there and uh, is pretty accurate i must admit now the other thing i want to talk about is the seven inch screen it's one inch bigger than its predecessor the 6250 and it's also extremely bright i've mentioned this before in another video but even in direct sunlight you can still see the screen as clear as day and it's amazing and it's not let me down yet. I've always been able to see it. Now, this is the part that I wanted to get to in the video the most. It's the frequently asked questions. It's questions that you guys have asked on my previous uh, videos regarding the TomTom. -tom. So I've seen these questions and I thought I want to answer them for you. The first one is, does it tell you what lane you need to be in when coming off a roundabout or junction? So I've already mentioned this just now because of thanks to the TomTom -tom, uh, maps. Yes, it does. When you come to a junction or a roundabout, it will tell you exactly what lane you need to be in. The, uh, the top left-hand corner, if it doesn't show you a split screen of what lane you need to be in, in the top left-hand corner, there'd be uh, some arrows. It could be two, three, four arrows, five arrows, and one of them will be in black, and that will tell you which particular lane you need to be in uh, to take your junction correctly. What are the price of these? So as of right now, uh, of recording this, I've checked the TomTom Tom website, they're currently selling for £399.99. pence. However, please bear in mind that obviously prices do go up and they do go down. Depends if there's a deal in place on the day, uh, whether there's a particular event that they have on. Uh, so don't take that uh, price as a quote, it could vary. But as of right now, of recording, £399.99. So this is a question that I got asked quite a lot. Uh, does it route through Dartford Tunnel? So if you don't know, there's a there's a there's a tunnel on the M25 and a bridge uh, called the Dartford Tunnel or Dartford Bridge. And uh, some users have been saying that with previous devices, it, for some reason, it doesn't route you through uh, that particular area. But I can confirm, I have used this TomTom, -tom, the TomTom -tom Go Expert, uh, and it has routed me through and over Dartford Tunnel and Bridge. Can confirm. Can you use this for a car? Yes, you can. So I'm gonna show you uh, live now. So if you go to the settings option, you can go to vehicle, my vehicle, there we go. And you can select the vehicle type. So right now we're set up as a truck. But if you select that, you can pick bus, van, or car. And when you do that, it'll ask you about the, uh, the maximum speed that you can do in that vehicle. And it will update the ETA, which again brings us back to the TomTom -tom World Maps, very accurate estimated time of arrival. So if you're in a car and you tell it you can do 70 mile an hour maximum speed, which is the legal limit in the UK, it will estimate your time of arrival based on that maximum speed. Is the mountain bracket the same? Very interesting question. No, it isn't. If you buy the TomTom -tom Go Expert, which is the new TomTom, uh, -tom, which is replacing the Go Professional 6250, it will not fit on the 6250 uh, bracket. 
So the TomTom -tom is one inch bigger than the 6250 and therefore this will not fit on the 6250's bracket. It's just too big. It, it won't fit. I have tried. Uh, so you, uh, you have to have the new bracket, which comes in the box anyway, so you don't have to worry about that too much. What's it like in city areas? Does it freeze? So I've been doing a lot of London work recently uh, and I've not had a problem yet. It's, it's worked flawlessly. I've been to London uh, Tower Bridge. Yeah, Tower Bridge. Uh, I've been into uh, Whitehall. Uh, tomorrow I'm going uh, near Buckingham Palace. I've, I've, been, I've been to loads of areas in London with this sat nav. It has not frozen, it has not let me down. Can you answer your mobile phone through it? Yes, you can. You can connect your phone to it via Bluetooth uh, and you can uh, send text messages, receive text messages and also phone calls as well, uh, as you could in all predecessors. And finally, how do you change your height? So there's two ways of changing your height. Uh, the first way and probably the more long winded way. So if you go into settings and go into my vehicle, you can select your vehicle type. And if you select a car, which you can, you can put your maximum speed in. Even if you select 100 mile an hour, it will still base your ETA on the maximum uh, UK road limit, so 70 mile an hour on a motorway, uh, 60 on draw carriageway and so on. If you select a van, you can change your height, your width, your length, your maximum speed and all of that as well. Again, if you change it to a bus, you can do the same, change your height, your, your weights, your maximum speed, and also a truck, which is what we're on as default. You can select the height, which is there, and you can uh, pick the new height that you are. That's the one, uh, the first way of doing it. The second way of doing it is if you put in a destination of where you want to go. So let's just say, for example, we want to go over here. Don't know where that is. Press drive. Before it actually calculates it route, it will ask you to confirm what your height is and all the other details. Obviously, as lorry drivers, we drop and we drop and change trailers all the time. So you may have a 4.2 meter trailer. You dropped it. You now picked up another trailer. You need to go somewhere else. So the TomTom -tom will ask you are you still 4.2 meters before you actually calculate that second route? And there we go. So that's the new TomTom Tom Go Expert. Uh, hopefully you found the video uh, intriguing or informative. I do try my best to make it as, uh, as good as possible. I do thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to check out the previous TomTom Tom videos I made if you've not seen them already. Talk about advanced lane guidance. Uh, talk about uh, advanced route planning in the previous one. And before that was my overall review. I do like this TomTom Tom product. I've only ever used TomTom -Tom sat-navs and uh, I'd definitely give him a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.